What's good fellas, Big Hungry Joe here, back with another episode of our Sluggo Dynasty here on the channel. Now this week we have number 12 ranked UCLA, they're currently sitting on a 5-1 record, which is ridiculous man, these guys are probably going to be one of the harder competition games that we have during this regular season. And there's a lot of really inconspicuous shit going on between UCLA and the Banana Slugs. First thing that we have beef in would be recruiting, there is one player in particular that we are both going after. UCLA was trailing barely last week, and now they've literally, like by the smallest amount, slipped right in front of us. Let me try and find it. Corey Robinson, here we go. Now, Corey Robinson is a four-star, 79 overall athlete, 94% locked. And just because of that slim bonus lead that UCLA has over us, they've managed to take the lead from us. So unless Corey Robinson can hold out to the end of the year, which I really think is doubtful if he's 94% locked, looks like he's going to be going to UCLA. When it comes to visiting, he's going to Cal this week, Washington the week after, and then two weeks after that, he's coming to UCSC. And then the week after that, he's going to UCLA. My mistake, he's a five-star athlete. We clearly need Corey Robinson a lot more than UCLA does, man. We're trying to work our way up and try and become a dynasty here in the NCAA. And with those stats, man, that is somebody who I need on my squad, though. He's got good player rec, good man coverage, good zone, very good speed for a freshman. He definitely would be playing in the secondary somewhere, potentially even linebacker if we were forced to use him there. And one of the subs did mention that his stats can perfectly replicate a linebacker. Now, we are pretty solid in the secondary. Strong safety, free safety, and both cornerbacks are really, really solid. I'm happy with the direction we're going, but when you look at Alex Tooten's stats, he can easily make the transition to that outside linebacker position. Preston Davis will be taken middle linebacker. But look at that, 76 tackle, 89 hit power, good pursuit, good play rec, very good zone coverage. If there were one player on this entire list that I'm hoping to get, it probably would be Alex Tootens. Now, Eric Watkins and John Daniels, even though their low 70 overalls are both ready to be scheduled for visits, probably gonna bring him in with Colorado. <laughs> I don't really wanna take him on when we verse Washington because we're probably gonna get our ass kicked. As for the rest of the board, we are leading for Lamar Butler, leading for Billy Brook, leading for Marty Coley, leading for Jim Monroe, and we are slowly working our way to get John Thompson. We are in a battle right now with USC. The Trojans are probably going to steal him from us, but we are gaining. I mean, look at the bonus, 40 compared to 235. We just, we can't compete, mate. We cannot compete. But hopefully he can hold out to the end of the year so we can snag this man up. And then of course, Robbie Davis, we're slowly working our way up for him as well. JT Hall, same scenario. And when you look at the people we have officially signed, John Estes, Philip Russ, Matt Randall, Travis Carter, and Fred Johnson. All very solid players except for Matt Randall. The problem is we only have five people signed in week eight, man. I'm sure there's a lot of schools out there who've probably signed 10, 10 plus players, and we've only got four, so we need to really start working our ass off. Let's go check out the top classes. All right, so currently leading is Miami. They've signed three five-star athletes, five four-star athletes. They definitely have the best one. Cincinnati is a pretty surprising one. Three four-star athletes and five three-star athletes. You go down a little bit further, Louisville, USC, Texas A&M, pretty standard stuff. And then when you get to 11, UCSC Banana Slugs. On this season, we have four four-star athletes, one three-star athlete, and that's it. But hey, four four-star athletes for a two-prestige school is pretty damn good. I'd say we're definitely holding our ground. You know, since we're here, we might as well go check out the conference standings. I'm pretty keen to check this out, man. So UCLA currently leads the conference. <laughs> And we're in second. So if it didn't get any bigger already, this pretty much seals the deal right here, mate. And then when you go look at the overall Pac-12, we are currently in third. We're ahead of Stanford, which is surprising. But in first place is Washington State. They are ranked third in the nation. Well, hopefully once they start playing some harder schools, they start losing and, uh, you know, UCLA and us can go to the conference championship. If we can hold on, we still have a lot of hard games left on the season. In fact, you know what? I want to go check that out. What's our schedule looking like? Next week, we have Arizona State. That's going to be another tough one. Then Washington State. Ooh, that's going to be a big game. Then we have Washington straight after that. Colorado, Utah, and Idaho to finish off the season. So we do have an easy last three games. We just have to get through the next four and try and stay strong. If we can split two out of the next four games and then finish off strong with three dubs, we will finish on an eight and four record. And that's probably not going to get us a conference championship game, but that definitely will be good enough to get us a bowl game. And therefore, we can improve from that. 
Interesting times ahead, my dude. And if that already wasn't crazy enough, there's one more thing that I have to show you guys. Leading this UCLA team will be none other than Taro Yoshimaru. The true freshman, 96 overall. He's got the speed, agility, acceleration. He's got the throwing skills. We have to try and shut Taro down, which is ironic because we currently have him on our Dreadnoughts team. All right, so this is in no order, but I'm going to start reading it off now. A picture of Banana Crow's slug got leaked by McIntyre when he was secretly snooping through his girlfriend's phone. McIntyre claims he was not responsible for the leak, even though it was on his Instagram page. Why he's uploading it to his Instagram is beyond me. <laughs> the school does not have enough evidence to punish McIntyre for the leak. However, it is a CNN breaking news story because of the size of the slug. The reporter had to move the picture to see the slug end to end. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> that actually has nothing to do with storyline. That's more of a little narrative, if anything. Our pinned comment can confirm that it was a hell of a slug. How long is Banana Crow sluggo? One like equals one inch. At the moment that I'm recording this, and it's only been out for 10 hours, 57 likes. 57 inch slug for Banana Crow. Heard the turd will miss all of the next game due to that his family lives in Houston, so him and his cousin Colt Cruz will be volunteering in Houston all next week. So we have to go into this game underpowered without Heard the turd. You know, he bails us out of some clutch situations, man. So now the doctors run a DNA test on Xavier and find shocking results that Banana Crow is his long lost dad. Well, I mean, shit, I don't see the resemblance, but you know, you guys seem to like that comment. 37 likes, there's a lot of laughing faces after that. But just to make things more interesting, something even crazier happens than Crow getting Joe's girlfriend pregnant. Right after they take the DNA test, they is Joe's dad. Xavier Jefferson and McIntyre don't really like Banana Crow, but now we find out that Banana Crow is their parent. This can lead into some deep shit, mate. If somebody's willing to put in the effort and write some deep shit storyline to give us an entire backstory as to how this connection works, then hey, I'm gonna go with it, man. Go crazy. And just a couple of comments that are pointing out some of the better things from our recruiting class. Move the guard Fred Johnson a fullback. Without blocking and speed, he'll be dominant. He's referring to Fred Johnson, the 96 acceleration left guard that we picked up. I think he's a left guard. And on fourth and short and stuff like that, we can just dump it off to a big fat left guard. And he can just go all the way, mate. All the way. First downs, insta first downs. Karam, the strong safety you're recruiting would be a beast linebacker. He had high tackle, hit power, and decent speed. I completely agree. Even though Tootins is the man that I want to get the most, we don't need any improvements to our secondary. If we do manage to get a hold of Tootins, I'm definitely going to be moving that guy to outside linebacker, as I said earlier. That being said, fellas, if you guys are hyped for another episode of our Sluggo Dynasty, don't forget to drop a like on the video, man. Every like that you drop helps, and it shows me that you want more Sluggos going forward. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe because we do double uploads every single day. And that being said, let's get it. You know what? This is hype as hell, man. I'm keen to see if we're going to be taking on Taro. Is he out here? Oh, shit. There's Taro, boys. Damn. Okay. Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh, my. I swear, man. If there is one game on the season, I need to get an interception. It's this game, bro. He's going to cut it back. Is that So So Jamabo? It is! I love that guy, man. So So Jamar Crow. Man, Preston Davis is definitely stacked on the pounds. Look at him, mate. He was a lot thinner last time I saw him. Come on, Taro, you bitch. Throw the ball. Woo! Oh, here we go. Oh! Bad throw by Taro. Reminds me of uh, another franchise that he's in. All right, man. Let's get this stop. Come on, man. I'm not trying to blow this third down lead. You know they're going to run it. I ain't scared, Taro. Oh, he's going to pass it. <gasps> Our route. Oh, no. Wow. <sighs> I mean, you know they're going to dump it off to So-So Jamarco. There's no way they're not going to Jamarco right here. Come on. Let's go. Shoot the gap, young man. Well, back to the run again. Ah, wow, we just blew a damn lead, my goodness. I completely forgot to take her the turd off. Isn't he down an H down for this game? Okay. 
<sighs> Wide receiver, hurt the turd. Wow, he's a 79 overall, man. That's a big loss for us. Oh, there we go. Wide open. <laughs> Taro, you've betrayed me, mate. There was a time when I played as you. And now you're going up against me trying to kill my dreams as a slug. Come on. Let's go. And he missed the field goal, too. All right, man, we have to try and retaliate. we got to be the next ones to score. This is a massive game for us, man. The next three, in fact, are all massive for us. But... Oh, Joe! I mean, do I trust Anthony Williams? I do trust Anthony Williams. If he gets open... Oh, there we go. Out of bounds. Come on, man, you got to plant that foot. That happens to you way too much. I'm just trying to make plays out here, man. How is the clock still going if it was out of bounds? Let's go, Joe. Take off, boy. Oh, man. He got he got ankle tack. Joe's tired. I'm going to switch his play up then. Oh, we got Givens, mate. This guy is garbage. There we go. Make that play. Make that play, triplet. Let's go, offense. GG's in the chat. These guys get down the field fast, bro. Taro ain't playing around, man. That's like his third 20-yard bomb of the game. Oh, now you want to run it? Oh. Come on. What the? That's a glitch, my dude. Fuck these guys, man. <laughs> We're bringing the heat. Come on, Yancey. Oh, no. So, so. Get on the ground. I don't know how useful Yancey's going to be out here. It's another run play. It gets shut down. Clearly going to go back to the run. Just going to try and blitz. Just going to try and blitz. Let's go! Our defense has been pretty good against the run. Pass game, completely different story. But run game, I'm happy with the performance. Happy. Very happy. They missed the field goal again. Douglas, do you reckon you can outspeed? Oh, he's dropping back into coverage. Look at that field though. Wide open, mate. Get that block. Slide, baby. See, now aren't you glad that we didn't move Joe to running back? He's got to be the most dominant quarterback. This guy will be up for Heisman. I can almost guarantee you, dude. The guy rushes for too much, too many yards a game. Run up. There we go. See, look at that. That's, that's just good play right there. Good telekinesis. Looking like Alakazam. Oh, look at that. Wide open, bro. Wide open for Gary. You know how we're going to get him, fellas? Classic Crow. Hitting up the read option. But, too easy, too easy, too easy. Come on! <laughs> Givens might be the man right here. Oh my! Good defense, man. Fantastic coverage. Well, what more can you say? All right, boys, I'm running the nickel blitz, triple blitz here. It's a new play that I discovered. As you can see, tremendous results. By my ebook. Right now, I'm going to bring out my big defensive play. I'm going to be bringing out the triple blitz, super hyper mega middle linebacker stuff blitz. All right? So all you got to do is put the linebacker on a blitz. And look at this. Look at the results. It shuts them down every, it shuts them down every time. Nine yards is the max they're going to make on that play. I definitely have to bring out the big guns here. I definitely have to bring out the hyper mega blitz here. Basically, you blitz everybody. Oh, good walk. Come on, pass that, man. Give me, a, give me a chance to intercept your bitch ass. You ain't... You know, I may look fine on the exterior, but inside right now, I'm just crumbling. My user. I don't get users in this game very often, but my user nearly just picked off the man that I created. But he fucking dropped it. I Bro, he blended in with the, with the end zone. I didn't even see you dude down there. Ah, rips in the chat. If we can just get the fuck out of the pocket and try and hit Douglas once he hits that corner, then we might be fine. Come on. Hit him deep. Hit him deep. Good swat. Is there playmaker in this game? It would have been cool to see him just run upfield, man. He would have been gone with that speed. Simmons, Gary, Will Oh, wow. Look at, look at Williams, though. Ah! 
McIntyre, man! I mean, shit, we might as well read option it. That's our best chance of making guaranteed yards at the moment. And, of course, we're going to run it to the side with two stars. Insta... Yep, timeout. Alright, good news is we get ball to start second half, so we can uh, recommend all the mistakes that we just made. Come on, Sims. Show me some. Oh. Well, that didn't go as planned. Oh, man. Zero and three on third down conversions. Not a good time for us. Alright, let's get Douglas on a slant route. Fuck it, I'm running. I'm running! Go, Joe! Let's go, man! I really gotta drop let's go from my vocabulary. I say it way too often, man. I'm sorry. I'll try and change it up. Glitch. Ah! Pfft. I was trying to get centered before I threw that. And I know there's somebody right now in the comment section saying, Why do you leave the pocket? Mate, we have 54 overall offensive linemen. What do you think's gonna happen if I stay in the pocket? Go Givens. I just said let's go. Shit, get rid. It looks like he got he got messed up pretty bad. Look at that. Yeah, that's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. Let's go, Douglas. I just said let's go again. I didn't even realize that was third down either. I thought that was second. Uh, I don't know who Rogers is. I have no. I know who Preston Davis is. I have no idea who Rogers is though. That means he has to be at least like a 70 overall or some stupid shit like that. Come on, Taro's gonna throw. Wow! How his wide receiver didn't pick up on that, I have no idea. But fourth and nine, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take Yancey on this. Get out of my way. Yancey's taking it. Oh, <laughs> he stole it. We have open field to the right side, and of course the star would just head out there. Why does the star have to go to the side that I'm running to, man? But Get that block. Oh, oh! Oh, <laughs> he got smashed! See, this would be the perfect chance to fullback dive it with that big left guard that we're getting in uh, the class, but we don't have him right now. Let's go. Come on, Xavier! I haven't asked shit from you this game. I don't know about this one, fellas. Unless we can get a stop. I don't know, man. Screenplay. Wow, wow, wow! How is this man breaking so many tackles? He's so so Jamar Bo, not so so Jamar Crow. Mate, I would love to see Tank Perham Crow in college. Imagine if I made Tank on Michigan State. That would be epic. I might even do that. Just for the lols. Yo, Presto, you better make this play, man. I thought he swatted that. I thought that was a swat. I took my hand off the controller. No way. Of course, cut back, cut back cheese. Swerve God, right? Swerve God Taro. Taro Swerve God. Fucking hell, mate. I'm out of here. I don't know about this one, fellas. Unless Joe McIntyre can start completing the simple passes. I don't know. This game looks out of reach. Out of reach. Completely out of touch. Why didn't I just cut through, bro? Why am I pussyfooting around? Come on, Crow. What have you got up your sleeve? What have you got up your sleeve, Crow? How can you get us out of this situation, my dude? Glitch play, man. Alright, the safeties are down pretty low. I'm sure they are probably going to jump back into coverage once I snap the ball, but... If we can get Walters out... No reaction from the free safety. And look at that. It's... There we go. Right across the middle. Good job, triplet. Do we trust Givens? I don't know, man. We haven't really given Givens a chance to prove himself. Look, he's wide open, bro. He's wide open, bro! Oh! <laughs> damn it! There's no way they can cover all of these routes, bro. God damn it. Alright, Jefferson, you are going on a slant round, my dude. Please, Max, protect for me. There we go. There we go! Good throw! I don't want to go to OT again! We barely won last week against Oregon! Jefferson, back on that slant round, even though he's tired. There we go. In the... 
Oh, my dude, man. Drop passes are going to be the reason we lose this game, man. So many overthrown passes. I mean, that's just part of the game, though. I meant to juke. I didn't mean to spin. Nothing gets your heart racing a little bit like some NCAA. Back of the end zone. It's going to be picked off, man. If only we had caught the previous pass, man. We would be playing defense right now with a chance to win the game. We got no timeouts left, though. I'm pretty sure the game is GG at this point, but... Now, if we can't get this, I'm going to sim the rest of the game out. Yeah, he's gone. And that's a wrap. That is a wrap, fellas. Even if we continue to play defense, no timeouts, they're just going to chew clock anyway, man. That's GG. Good game by UCLA featuring Taro. I mean, you can pretty much take conference championship out of the equation now. And I feel like it's going to come down more so to uh, us just having a decent bowl game. They were ranked number 12 in the country. They were so much better than us. Even though we came out on top against Oregon and USC. I don't know. There's a little more to this game, man. Felt like we, you know, touched my heart. We should have won this game. Checking out the stats on the day, Joe McIntyre, one TD, two interceptions on the day. I mean, I'll take one interception away only because we really should have caught that pass right at the end of the game, and, you know, it's whatever. On the rushing end of things, Joe McIntyre, 72 yards, nine average. At least he's finding his groove on the offensive end of things. Really liking the way that he's uh, adjusted to the offense. You know, Xavier Jefferson can make some plays here and there, but then with McIntyre, we can just get out the pocket and we're gone. On the receiving end of things, Armin Triplett, our tight end, the man who coincidentally dropped the ball. I think it was Triplett. No, Triplett wouldn't have dropped it. I think it was this guy. <coughs> Either way, man, somebody dropped the ball. I'm not pointing any fingers. Not pointing any fingers to uh, who cost us this game. Triplett, 41 yards. Thompson with 36. Martin, 24. Williams, 14. Pretty evenly distributed. Roman Gary, our 71 wide receiver with a massive 34-yard game. And on the defensive end of things, Yancey once again proving to be the leader of the defense. Nine solo tackles, one TFL for Mario Rogers, one TFL for Mike Hurd. No interceptions though, man. I really wish we got that one with Preston Davis. That would have been epic, but you know, shit happens though. That being said, fellas, if you did enjoy, don't forget to smack a like on the video for me. Help your boy out. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you back next time. Much love. Peace. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me.